So, hello and welcome to JTV Live with me, Jamie O'Neill. Coming up, uh, I'll be speaking to uh, A. Brenton. He's topping about at the Duties Boxing Club Home Show on Sunday, the 10th of September. It's an afternoon show. It'll be live on JTV Live. And then I'll be speaking to another boxer on that, that card, uh, young Lucas Ewan, um, who's been training through the summer, but he'll tell us what he's been up to, and also I'll be showing him a wee card trick. And then finally, um, Northwest Aaron Sawa will be joining me. So um, we'll be here for about an hour or so. It isn't live, so I won't see any of the comments, uh, but you can watch it all back on what YouTube channel uh, later on. So that's what we've got coming up. Uh, shout out to all our sponsors. Don't forget you can get in touch with Jamie at jtlive.com if you want to support us and the new boxing season that's just about to begin. So hey, Brenton, Fiduris. How are you feeling? How are you good? You alright? Um, how are you? I'm good, man, apart from my knee, but I'll get there. I've still got I've got that St Andrews show. I'm I'm just attending the more today, like we interviews and that. But my first um Olympic style amateur show of the season. Um Is our show. We do these. Um Sunday the tenth of September. Tenth. Ah, uh, the tenth. Um the duties that you guys have a lot of shows, man. It's like you have, I think uh, last year had three. I usually had like, we had three last season. Yeah. We had one at the start, just before the novices, then one uh, like March, April time, and then one right at the end of the season. Yeah. Um, and that last one, like that was the day of the GBs as well, so I had like, yeah. Archie phoned me to book it, he was like, I think he was in the hotel team, he was just trying to make sure everybody was free, and he was like, um, oh, are you free this day? And I was like, oh no, that's the weekend of the GBs. And he's like, um, I but that's during the day. And I was like, oh, no, man, I'm going to have to yeah. take all that equipment. And that day for me was just the, the worst, man. I'm the worst for leaving, like, cables and that about. And I left, like, my my MacBook charger and then went and done the GBs and then had to send a wee guy from my youth group to to go get it and bring it to Ravenscraig and that. But I do these shows are always they're always good going. Um, yeah, now, always bouncing. One of the first shows, it wasn't the first show, but it was, like, one of the first shows, um... I think it was the second show that the first show I ever done was Renfrew show, um, and then the second one was Duries. But then I think I've done all the shows since. So it was twenty nineteen. Um, mm-hmm. But you have been on quite high up in the bill like the last few ones, isn't it? Yeah, uh, the last one I was second last, and the one before that was third last. So that's like, um, so the next one you need your main event. You need to go and put on like, ah. your belt there show and then let me know. Who's main event in this one, do you know? I know there's um, still change. Oh, oh, your main event in this one? Yep. Oh, so that's, that's good, man. It's good. I'm actually proud of you for that because, like, as I said, uh, you're always, when I go in to set up, obviously I need to go a few years before. Um, yeah. And you're kind of like the, the first one that's there. Um, you're buzzing. Like, I know, like, you put your heart and soul into it as well. And, like, um, and you believe in yourself, which is was good. So it's it's good to see that um, you're sort of being rewarded, if you like. But does Tottenham uh, Hill come with any extra pressure? Like, I mean, are you still going to be the first one in there? Or you got because you be there for the whole day. Nah, I'm still, <laughs> see, to be honest, the only reason I'm always first there is because I'm bored. I'm uh, bored in the house, so I just uh, leave early and go. And, and if Arjun's help me, I'll help him. And it's always really bored when I, I get there first. And there's always um, bits today as well, and it there's always like. Yeah, um, we bits and bobs that that need done on on need need done. Um Talking the bill first show as I said first like amateur show for for me this season. Uh, I don't think there's any. There might be maybe some in the north or the east or something like on the same day, but it's as one of the first uh, in Scotland. Um, if you do, you know like, how busy it's going to be. It's, it's back at the Kings Park as well, isn't it? I mean, Kings Park's always a sellout, so yeah. probably just. The same as usual. Like it's always all King's Park's always the one where every ticket goes within a week. Yeah. So a lot of well, all the like table and meal tickets. I think there's a like couple standing tickets left, but that's about it. But it's probably going to be a seller again. Um, and is that a good atmosphere? I know um, Craig Stephen is is uh, coming to to ah, he's announcing. Um, it's a wee bit different for Norm. Obviously, the Greg was before, and then I know. Um, Darren sort of jumped in um, nah. at times, but um, I I work well with Craig, and like it's he always gives like the boxers that 
that sort of we could do we call it the Las Vegas treatment where you're getting like ah. um, a proper announcement. But know that other ring announcers don't, but I just like for me it's just like you always you, sort of just gives that. You always put like maximum effort into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what's your your family in that saying? Are they they looking forward to see? Do you do you have like a lot of well, people coming or, or do they get like yeah. nervous? I've got like I usually have like ten to fifteen people coming, but like they don't know I'm top of the bill yet, so. I'm gonna wait till the day to tell them that I'm the last fight. <laughs> so what if they see this? They always, Should we bleep it? They out? always they, ah no, they, they none of them will see this. Yeah, I I'll, I'll hide it from. But they always complain because I'm always dead last and I'm always further on. So it'll be funny I to know, see what they react like with this. I was saying this to a few boys that were boxing at uh, the William Wallace Box Cup. It's like they were there early for the way in. Obviously, we we shows it's a bit. You don't need to be there like like the tournaments are dead early in the morning but um, you still need to be there a few hours before before the event nah. starts um, and then you've got that long wait you ov- you also see all the the wins and, and loses of your team that can sort of maybe add pressure to you I mean if it's if it's gone against you you might think oh I need to yeah. go I need to put on a show um, but also tap the bills kind of like, um, you often you'll find that it's the the boys that a lot of other boxers look up to. So you've got all the, the mm-hmm. younger boxers that are in the ring um, that are that are sort of egging you on. Is it, does it, do you think that's going to add to any pressure or do you just absorb it all and just get in the day you hang? See, to be honest, being in the limelight, comfortable for me, like, I enjoy it. But I just look, if everybody's watching, I kind of just ignore it and I kind of just listen to Archie. I don't hear the crowd, I don't hear anybody else. I just hear him and him tell me what to do in the fight. That's really it, to be honest. I know I say that to a lot of people. Had, There's like a telepathy sometimes between you and your corner, um, where uh, like you hear their voice and it just everybody else is drowned out because it's it's mad. Like even uh, which show there was a show I was I think was it the Busy Dory show, um, mm-hmm. and it was a boxer that I can't even remember who it was, but I just I remember when I was sitting, I was at the other side and I was hearing everything Archie was saying. It was literally like. It was me. Later. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> I I it was the last it? show. Ah, yeah. It was the last show. The the Archie shouted the uh, left hand, right hook to the body, yeah, yeah. and I done it straight away. And then you were like, "Hey, Brenton, listening to his corner there." <laughs> Mate, there's that many shows, that many bouts. I see. I, I, I just have wee fragments of like kings that went on, but I, I remember that the the, the Dury show it was, um, and it's amazing, man, because it's like the 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 place is is mental. Um, yeah. There's so much noise coming from left, right, and centre, but it's just like your brain it just just tunes in, um, which which is brilliant because it means that um, you're sort of synced uh, with your coach, um, so you can uh, if you go and try and run after another coach or something, like, it's not going to nah. it's not going to work because you've been building that that sort of link with, with Archie. How's Archie been? Um, is he looking for? Ah, he's good. It? Same old Archie, always stressed at his box, but still he's he's doing well actually. Um, it's not not as stressed now, but. When it comes up to the show on the day, you'll be running ragged. I, I spoke to him. Um, I dropped him a wee message earlier. I was saying because I seen. I've got you in Snapchat, I think, because that's what I seen. I, I seen you posted, and I thought, oh, at least yeah. there's like a, maybe a rough guy to who's who's boxing. And I thought, you know what? I'm kind of going to be stuck in the house for a bit. I was like, why don't I just start doing something a bit different? And maybe if this, this works and we chat to like some of the boxers on the card. And it looks good. I'll start doing this maybe going forward, just in the run up to to the bills and that. Because um, on the night it gets a bit noisy, and you don't know. Nah, it is. You always try to talk something, you, you end up screaming down the night because you're trying to talk over everybody screaming and shouting. I don't know. And it's, then you give us interviews. It's hard to hear something. I don't always put the, the headphones on people because it's just. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't because I, I should do it because it just it just cuts out all the rest of the noise. Um, yeah. But I just hate the headphones, and if you put them in the wrong place, you get feedback for the the mics and stuff. But um, I sometimes I don't hear what they ask a question, and I actually don't hear what they're replying back to me. So sometimes people <laughs> are just looking at me like they've said something important, and I've just sort of ignored them. Yeah. Um, now you were you were looking for for sponsors or did you find a sponsor or was it you, uh, I got I got a, I got a sponsor from uh, a guy who does landscaping who helped out at the gym he he gave me a sponsorship so that was really good to get up uh, what's the, the name of that company uh, Lanarkshire uh, Maintenance Group so he does the bouncing like he was doing the bouncing at the show uh, our last show and I was speaking to him the whole night and then uh, when Archie posted about me looking for a sponsor 
he messaged up saying Archie and me sat down with him down the gym and just spoke about things. That's brilliant, man, because I think getting into this season, um, you've got a lot of good experience and as I said, like not just your club shows, but you travel and you, you get involved in as much um, sort of competitions as you can. So getting, getting into this season, um, are you looking to take it? I know you take it seriously, but are you looking to sort of maybe just take the next step and sort of aim um, for like um, taking the gold back for the big competitions and having that sponsorship behind you would, would no doubt help? Definitely, like last season I missed out on gold twice in the semis, I just, me not turning up on the day because I, I just wasn't 100% focused on it but hopefully this season with the sponsorship I can 100% focus on training and be able to turn up on the night and take the, take the gold home every time there. So I think as like, people, um, there's, they don't always see how much sacrifice there is and how much juggling there is. Um, not just like your commitment to boxing, but you've got probably other things going on in your life that sometimes you don't always get to do. And um, boxers need to find a way as well um, to make money and to support that, like eating right and, and training right and, and not just um, like, what was I saying, not just being able to have a, a proper life where you go out and party with your mates and then um, maybe have a, a job as well. Like all this is, is difficult to sort of, to juggle so that's why like it's I, I take my hat off to, to people that are sponsoring um young boxers that sort of just give them that that step up that that they need and they don't have to worry so much um but you're looking for for maybe more sponsors to add or you how much space you got in your shorts we'll, we'll try and see if we can uh, well i'm getting loads of space in my shorts so it's kind of whether or not companies want to come on and sponsor me like if, if a company approached me and said that they would like to sponsor me then i'd be like yeah, sure, without a doubt, and give them the rough price of what it is to sponsor me and what it goes towards, like new boxing gear, prep meals when I need them, all that type of stuff, registration fees. But if they understand that, then they can come on board because it's only going on my shorts because it, it can't go on our, our vest because that's like the club's vest. So uh, yeah, and then, I've got loads of space in my shorts. But and as your profile sort of builds, it's it's good to for companies to to get on board um, early, and then as your profile goes, if you 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 do aim for them, the big. Um, tournaments and, and you win the gold uh, it's good for companies to, to to back you and sort of be way, way you own that journey as well Exactly like if, you're, if, if you're sponsoring a, an athlete from like the, the start of their career all the way through then you can say you've been there from the start and it's, it's, like a, it's like a relationship, you build a bond with them and then you end up keeping them the whole way through and they're there even when you win or lose it's good because like Boxing different to other sports like football. You can you can lose a match, go home, and you'll be fine. Boxing, you can you you lose something. Your career can have a ticking time bomb on it after yeah. you've lost. So it's kind of like you need to. It's like hard to balance your wins and your losses. So to have companies come on and support you while you're losing and while you're winning, it's better on the early start of your career. So that once you start winning, you get all the motivation, all the publicity, everything, and your career just takes off from there. So. Um Dury's he's moved um, um, just in the first quarter of the year. Um, it's in it's right up my screen as well. Uh, Blair Beef. Is that how you say it? Blair Beef or Blair Blair Beef? Blair Beef. Um, uh, Blair Beef. How are you finding the new gym? It's good. It's a wee bit smaller than the old gym. Obviously, it's a lot smaller because we used to have a bigger like floor plan and stuff. Yeah. But I think it's worked out better for us because it gave us a new insight. Some people have moved gyms, some people have stayed with the gym, and it's created like a kind of family type thing. So everybody that's in the gym, we're all like brothers to each other, so we all know everything. We all know each other inside. It's good sparring, everything. It's a good wee gym now. But I think I, the moving gym part benefited us more than it like made us struggle. Yeah, I think sometimes you like when you as a community and as a gym you you went through like when people go through that sort of um struggle and obviously the, there was issues with the, the previous place that um you didn't really get much notice to, to sort of pull together and, and find somewhere but he's he's done it well and and um all respect to to, to Archie, I think sometimes um he takes a lot on his plate. And I know what my life's been like the last few years through COVID, um, with my shops and losing the shops and stuff, it was just one thing after another. But um, Archie's sort of got this drive where he's sort of seen it on, done it on, just pushes through and um, you guys really um, got behind him and got behind the gym and, and sort of he's come out the other end and that's why like I, I love 
the the the, the set up and duties. I love like how you all sort of bond and how how you got on. Um, but with some of the other boxers that you're closest to, I could probably name them myself, but I like you. Uh, Jay Stewart, probably Jamie Doody, uh, Joe McClure, who else? Who else? Uh, Nathan Rodden, uh, trying to think who else? Frankie, Lucas, all pretty much all the ones from the old gym. There's a few new boys that came in. Yeah. Uh, there's wee Josh Gardner. He's really good. Uh, he's quite. Uh, there's another boy. What's his name? He's just started and he's fighting on the show. Josh Doyle. There's like four Joshes. But everybody's really close with one another. Uh, that's really it, to be honest. Do you get... Um, I know that obviously know all the bouts, but do you get time to, to see some of the other bouts before? Um, yeah, and I, that, I sit and watch that, them all. What's that like, watching... Um, or the boxers, do you have any nerves for them, or do you do you see things that maybe they're doing wrong, or, or things that they're doing good, and or like how how is it for you to watch them? It's hard to watch sometimes. Like I see, especially if it's like a tough fight, and you're watching your mate like box somebody, and it's like nitty gritty, and they're both going shot for shot. It's hard to watch, obviously. But I know what they're like in the gym, and I know how far they can push themselves to win a fight. But it's hard to watch. Like everybody can say, "Oh, it's dead easy, it's dead." It's not. But it's hard to watch a pal oh, yeah. box someone and know that they're having a tough fight. Especially if it is a really nitty gritty fight where it can go either way. It's hard to watch. It's especially hard to watch your, your mate lose, and you know how hard they've worked for it in the gym. Um, who is it? Your boxing? Do you know yet, or is it still uh, Emmanuel for Rob Roy? He's a. I've, I, I think I've seen him a few times, but he's he's maybe travelled. I think he was travelling to South with Rob Roy just before the the summer. Yeah. Um, have you seen him box in England? Uh, last year, the, like my first ever novice, I seen him box. That was it. But he was obviously I youth, and that time I was senior. Yeah. So uh, that was the last time I seen him box. But he's a good boy. That uh, we're both good. It's going to be both top of the bill, wanting to win. So both of us are gonna try come to win and put it on a show, hopefully. So hopefully you have that you have that home support, um, and that can sort of maybe push you push you forward. As I said, it's the, f- the first time you're you're topping the bill. Um, you, is it first time? The... Uh, no, I topped the bill in Dundee. Oh, the first time you topped the, the bill at a Dury show. How was it? Oh, at about... the Dury show, yeah, yeah. How was it for you? First time I've what to top the bill in Dundee. Aye, what was that like? I didn't like it. Uh, I knew I knew going into it, it was going to be hard, especially because yeah. the ring that they were using was really small, mm-hmm. and I was like, I, I'm not going to like this. Like, it's too small for me to do what I would usually do. But it was a good fight. Me and the boy, uh, Kieran Smith. I think, oh no, Kieran Flynn. Sorry, uh, he won the novices like last year, so it was a good fight between the both of us. That was a, a close uh, bout, no? Yeah, I actually I had to put it on Facebook because ah, yeah, he thought. Uh, the, the decision was wrong which yeah. I kind of agree with him I'm going to agree with him because I do think it was wrong <laughs> but he he won so I can't really take it away from him he came to win he, he won so but that's, a, that's quite a big deal going into somebody else's so it's like going into the the bear pit or the lion's den going into um, going on a home show um, tapping the bill and some, uh, somebody else's show but um, now you have the opportunity to to be the lion yeah, or the, sure. the tiger eye and, um, and Manuel was going to have to um, the pressure's got to be on, on him. But um, as always, the Dury shows are always brilliant. As I said, it was the second second one I'd done. It was at Kings Park as well, um, and I've done everyone since. So I'm looking forward to to sort of kicking the season off with somewhere that I'm probably comfortable with. And um, as I say, I know all you guys as well. Uh, what's the plans between now and the show? Just train, pretty much get as ready as I can. Stay fit, take over, get the weight down. I'm already pretty much on weight, but just need the last couple of 0.5 and that's me on weight, ready to, ready to rock and roll. Right, my man. Listen, Abe, um, thanks for talking to me. The first interview um, for the new new season, so um, I'm going to work my way through as many um, as I can uh, before the show, but um, I'll see you um, on the 10th, 10th of September. Yes. At the Dury Show, time. Kings Park. Um, and I'll, I'll we're on Snapchat now anyway, so I'll speak to you before then anyway. But I'll, I'll see you then. Um, and thanks for talking to me, no. man. Anything. So guys, that was a Brenton for Dury's Boxing Club Home Show. Next up, also boxing on the Home Show on Sunday, the 10th of September, as Lucas Ewan. So, Lucas, man, 
Was it next Sunday? <laughs> I don't know, mate. I'm ready. Um, do you know who you're boxing? Uh, Campbell Sutherland, hey, Rob Roy. Ah, he's a, a good boxer as well, isn't it? Aye, uh, fought one at the British. He uh, was supposed to have Logan Ray for Campbell Sniffing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he was 16 month older. Oh, we only sure. just found out a few days ago. Oof. <laughs> um, I spoke to Archie earlier. I know there's a few things that he's he's trying to sort out, and like there's always no even last minute changes. That's just changes like a week and a half <laughs> before the the event. Um, I uh, know, yeah, man. So how, how's your summer been? Just training away, just training still. Are you still growing? Aye, <laughs> you're still growing. Um, we've got some photos. Do you see this? It's on the screen. Aye. So that's um I don't know when that was. That was just that's your your cover. And on me Um and that's you um with the gold. Aye. Last year, but I've got one there. And on me ditch. Aye. Um and this was at the last home show, which was in Ah, it was the last uh, home show. Was it the the rad night? Uh where you got that um, Aye. remind us what award was it you got again? Uh, Junior boxer of the year. Did you know you were going to get so it? Or I did. did you? Um, kind of, but. <laughs> uh, you never know until you like know. Aye, but... <laughs> uh, exactly. But I, had, I was confident I was going to get it. Um, so, this is uh, the first um, Olympic style amateur show of the, the season. Um, well, for me, I, this probably, and uh, for you as well, there's probably. Maybe I don't know if there's other shows like that weekend, maybe up north or, or to the east, but I'm, I'm sure this is the first uh, Western District one. Um, mm -hmm. First of all, you went forward to it. Nah, I'm ready, man. I'm buzzing. Um, so, we still got about a week and a half ready. Still, I was speaking to Abe literally just uh, 10, 20 minutes ago. Um, he's got the gym the night. You you in the night or you you different? Yeah, I've done this session this morning, so probably will be. So, many sessions nah, right. a day in a day? Uh, Tuesday and Thursdays and then two sessions a day Oft. and then, then running you know so you back at, you're back at school or how's the, how's the school because I know you get time off for school aye aye are you back at school now or what's, what's the deal with that aye school aye back at school aye school's just, um, just school really isn't it <laughs> are you, I've got um, what do you say? I was going to say I've got my my youth group um, and obviously a lot of them are, are they're troublemakers in school, innit? Um, but the first few days, none of them went back. Aye. I was like, "Why is not school?" And they went, "Oh, we're just gonna go in next week. Nobody's there." I went, "I said, you need to be there. Your attendance is that bad." We had a few that were kicked. <laughs> out. There was a few that were kicked out um, to the, the last year, innit? And I'm just like, "Oh, if you do one, you just need to be pure on the ball." But they're just like, I think after COVID, everybody's sort of just been a bit. Laid back with school, it's like well for two three year, aye. it wasn't that big a deal for us. We only we were in and out, and now it's it's kind of like stuck with people. I think it's gonna take a few years before people will get back. Aye, definitely. With, with you, you're gonna be honest. Back. Yeah, sorry. Aye. What were you Everything with this COVID and all that, I know. Like COVID came back a wee bit now, but we need to get uh, this needs to go all way clearly for everybody to get back to our normal way. So I think. I oh, know. I've seen. I've seen them. Um, a few people posting saying, "Oh, I expect another lockdown or whatever." But oh, God, man, I don't. Can I do that again? I know, man. It's just like we're, we're sort of still recovering for it. I know, like boxing was quite quick to get back, but um, for me, like my business wise, it just ruined my business and uh, my shops. Uh, um, and I know that there's still people that are they've never just never went back to normal. So I hope that that doesn't happen, man. I'd be gutted if we. Okay. Go back to okay. I suppose Archie wasn't here now so last week. He was um, got COVID again, and he said this time it was like it was quite bad. So it's not like it's no either. Um, but it's just a uh, it'd be a shame if that if that ends up going back to that route where we've got lockdowns or people can't. I think new people probably understand that um, gyms and that need to for people's mental health at least. Um, gyms need to be kept mm -hmm. on. So you can't have that. So. Um, so you're boxing Campbell Sutherland, Rob Roy, um, Emmanuel for Rob Roy's boxing, um, Abe. Abe, um, aye. Is there any <laughs> any other bouts that you're looking forward to or any that you know about? Mm. 
want to see. I'm looking forward to seeing Jamie do his fight. Ah, uh, he's um... yeah, he's fighting Nathan Gilmore. Oh, that's right. He's boxing Nathan Gilmore for Shire. Um, Aye. More can he mean even Frio? Frio. Ah, that's got to be a that, good one. That would be good. Um, Mo's always got like a. He's like a wee bulldog in him. Aye, just um, a wee pit bull. That's what they call him, man. <laughs> um, but <laughs> uh, even Frio as well. Was that he was um, Channel Four documentary was following him um, when he was in the he was Aye. boxing in the I think it was a Golden Gloves tournament. Um, so he's a, a decent boxer. Oh, wait, I'm going to show a magic trick. Yeah. Go. All right, let me see what I got. Can you see these cards? Aye. All right, so tell me about stop shuffling, right? Thank you. You're saying kill stop. stop? All right, so stop here, right? Now tell me when hey, I'm going to go through the cards like this, right? And you got to tell me about stop. Right, stop. All right. So I'm not looking, right? That's that's your card. Can you see it? Don't say it out. Just tell me if you can right, see it. Right, all right. Free your hearts. I said don't say it out. <laughs> Oh, right, okay, right, 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 don't say that they, they cared it, right? But think right. they cared it, right? Just concentrate on the card, right? Now we stop shuffling. Right. Concentrate on the card, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and see if I can get this telepathy to work, right? So you're thinking about it. You're thinking right. about the card? Mm hmm All right, keep thinking it, right? Um, right. I see a five. Is that a five, isn't it? Yeah. Is that five, right? So... Wait, I don't think it's this. This is five of hearts. I don't think it's five of hearts. No? Uh, no. There is a five, right? So forget that one. Right, the next card I've got. Wait. Is it... It's black. Five of clubs? No. Nope. It's not the five of clubs? But is it... So there's only one other. So it's, is it five... It's black. So it must be five of spades. Is it five of spades? Aye. Right, well, let me find it. I've not got the five of spades here, I need to find it. But I was seeing that five there and then I, I, I thought it was it was black, so five of spades. I do you think there is a five of spades in this pack? Oh shit, it was right at the end. <laughs> oh, wait. That was a good magic trick, wasn't it? Oh, that's actually a good trick. <laughs> Should I tell you how I've done it? Right, go. Telepathy, bro. You were thinking. No, no. See, I can see the screen. <laughs> so see, oh, that's how I was like, See, now I already cared up, I can see what you're seeing. Oh, am man. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you know, I've got, my wee cousin's in hospital on it, and we're buying, like, my dad got him, like, care tricks. So there was one, I, right. I, I bought the wrong one, I bought the one he's already got. But basically, it's this care trick, right? And you, you get something to pick a care, and then you go through it. And they'll always pick the, I think it's the eight of diamonds, right? But apart from the first few cards in the pack, the rest of them are all eight of diamonds. So there are always <laughs> chances they're always going to pick eight of diamonds and then you pretend that you don't know and you can mix the card up. And at the end, you show them, oh. you flick through it and you're like, oh, I got it because all of them are eight of diamonds. But they've only ever seen the first few cards, so they think, oh, it's a mixed pack. Uh, but my dad loves it. Like card tricks, uh, but that's really uh, good. You ever played that game, Wolf? No, oh, I don't think so. Do you know what? I'm going to... Bro, this is such a good game. Do you know what? See you after your... Maybe we'll try it before the home show. If I get there early before the home show, right, we'll play a, a, a game called Wolf. It's not like a card trick. Everybody just gets a card, right? And it's like... Have you seen Aye. that show on BBC, Traitors? Aye, I've seen that. Aye. Right, so it's kind of like that. Everybody gets a card, right? And it tells them whether they're a wolf, a witch, or like a citizen, right? And usually, mm -hmm. if it's a big group, you have like two, two or three wolves. But the, the dealer, he gets everybody to shut their eyes and then they're like, right, open your eyes if you're a wolf so he can see who the wolves are, right? And then he'll get them, he, they all have to agree to kill somebody, right? So they, they have to be quiet in it so nobody notices, but they'll pick somebody to kill. So then you tell them to shut their eyes and then you tell the witch to open their eyes. And the witch <laughs> can, 
like you show who the, who they've killed, right? And the witches in one game, the 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 witch can either save them or just let them die. So obviously, if the witch has been picked, uh, they can save themselves, or they pick something, or they can say, "No, let them die." So you tell them to shut their eyes, and then you you reveal what happens. You either say, "Oh, this person's been killed, right?" And they were only saved, or they were they were, uh, or you say like they were saved. So then everybody has to discuss who they think the wolves are, and bro, it gets too funny, man. Because people obviously have to. Oh, try definitely it. got to play us, bro. It's it's sometimes like when we when we play well, we're mates. Sometimes you you if the wolves won, even if only one of them wins, then they've won, right? So sometimes you sacrifice one of the wolves, like you grass something. I'm going, this person's a wolf <laughs> that you know is a wolf, right? But obviously you can't then say you're a wolf because then you'll get voted out. But bro, it's just the funniest, uh, it's the funniest fucking game ever. Oh, well, that's um, definitely got to get a game of that. So I think if I come, we'll play it before it, man. Cause it's just a, it's a funny, it's a, it's uh, a good game to definitely. see how people's characters are. Because some of my mates take it dead serious, man, and end up like there's been fights in our group, and you're like. It's only like a third game, right? <laughs> but it's been hefty fights. Um, there's a lot of boxing on this weekend. Oh. Um, there's the you've got the Bonds and Lemond fight them on. That's gonna be nice. Oh, see, you gotta watch it. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna watch it. Would you get any predictions? Definitely. I've just I've literally just seen. I was gonna try and make it to the weigh-in, but like I fucked my knee in it, so I'm kind of restricted right. to things. Um, but I just seen the way in uh, Jack Turner and Andy Tam. Do you see that? Aye. Bro, Aye, I seen that, man. That's going to be intense, man. It's going to be some fight. Because, um, bro, I, I love the two of them, man. I think the two of them are, are, are brilliant uh, boxers. They both bring something Aye. different to the table. Jack's a bit of a, he was a He was a Dury's boxer, uh, Jack, innit? Aye, he was a Dury's boxer, aye. Um, but... He, he went and put like his fingers up behind Andy and then Andy like pushed him and then it's and I think he thought oh, he was joking and that and then it sort of get a bit um at one point Craig Stephen was in between the two of them <laughs> it's like he's like oh can you face the front oh but that's got to be brilliant um I see the Martin Crossing one and Andrew Smart as well I think that'll be decent because I like uh, I think my, my favourite is probably uh, Martin Crossing I think he's I like watching him but um, is there any buddy you're looking out for the or are you just you just up for watching it all? Oh wait, your face froze. You're <laughs> still smiling. Can you still hear me? Right, wait. Can you hear me? Yo. Oh, ah, I can hear you. Oh, your face froze, man. It's just you smiling like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. No, that too. You're all saying. Um, so where did I get? I was going to say, is there anybody you're looking out for tomorrow? Any boxers that you you're looking to see? Or? I'm I'm looking to see um, Martin Crossing. His I, fight's going to be good. I asked it. That's I don't know if you heard me. Did you hear me saying that? No, I don't hear you saying that. So I was basically like Martin Crossing and, and Andrew Smart. Um, I think for me, like I think Martin Crossing sort of on a a roll. Um, with his, yes. his fights in it, and it's. Um, I don't know, I just think, I, f I feel like he maybe deserves it. I think he deserves like, a big He definitely deserves it, man. The exposure He's as well. putting all that hard work in, definitely. Um, but aye, there's a lot of... I can't even remember the full card. Uh, Cassidy Todd, I hope she's boxing as well, because like, she's had a, a few call-offs in the last... Um, aye. I could probably, I could probably check. Um, I don't know how much St Andrews has posted yet. They're posting like, um, bits of the, the way in and that. Let me see. I sort of posted the the Ricky Bonds Wally Lemon, then that we scrap between not so much a scrap, but a wee, wee bit intense between Jack Turner and Andrew Tam, and then Martin Cross and, and Andrew Smart. That's what they posted so far. But it's good to Martin the Kills fight, you know that, I know. Aye, aye. Martin the Kills, aye. Yeah, he's uh, my my dad's a massive Elvis fan in it, so see his walkout music. Um, nice. do, do you know any of his songs now? Um, <laughs> it's like falling in love, like can't help falling in love with you. Uh, it's like jailhouse rock. Uh, can't remember any other ones. <laughs> can't think. I've like literally grown. I could probably, um, if you told me an Elvis song, I could probably sing it. I'm not gonna, but I'm saying like 
I've, I know like most of the lyrics to, I think Elvis recorded some like 4,000 tracks and my dad just listened to them all on repeat. It's mental, man. <laughs> so like, Mark, um, Mike McHale comes out to, what song is it he comes out to? Um, if you're looking for trouble, dun, 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 you've come right. I know that one, I know why. That's it, <laughs> that's what he comes out with, man. Um, but uh -huh. he's, he's sort of building up to be um, a good character within boxing as well. Like I know, obviously, he's the same jam as, as Josh Taylor. He has a lot of the, the, the coaches that, that trained Josh in the early days like behind him as well. He's went out um, to Las Vegas when, when Josh was boxing. Um, so it's, it's, it's good to, to see that. Like I was saying there to um, to Abe, but like he's he's tapped the bill. Um, so first time he's tapped the bill at the, the dude he's shown. I was saying what comes with that is a lot of younger boxers will, will look up to you, and you as well. I mean, um, we we saw the picture there where you, you won gold, but um, you're just a boxer that loves to box, and you you get an amongst it. Right. And whether it's win or lose, you you've got a lot of people that that admire like what you're doing in the gym and stuff. Um, do you feel that? Do you feel like there's younger boxers that, like, when you walk in a room, they sort of, like, try and, like, show off a wee bit more on the Yeah, you can see of... a lot of boxers, like, all the younger ones, they're, like, more, they're, like, I always help them out now. So, and they always take my advice on board. Yeah. So when they're in spawn, tell them what to do, like, just keep your hands up, use your jab now. They do it, and it works. Yeah. And then they keep it going on, especially the boy, uh, Mohammed and Khan. Honestly, like, oh, they're ca character. Um, he's he's one for a watch man. Honestly, so there's there's Muhammad Khan and there's, there's the other one. Uh, there's it Daniel? Daniel and Adam Khan, but I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's another one, but Aye, there's a. I mean, they came up um, at the last duty show. I don't know if they came up to me and oh, where's my interview or something or like because that <laughs> like, there was some things going on. I think the sound at the beginning, somebody kicked the the cable out, and it was just like. Where I was, it was just very busy and that, so I could I don't think I could do an interview with him at the beginning, but I was like, Oh, you owe me one. Um so I think <laughs> they owe me an interview this time. Um but the good thing with the good thing with um, King's Park is that I know the setup and that. Uh, and Craig Stephen as well, he's he's gonna be ring announcing um Aye. this time. So I mean he did uh, do ring announcing years ago, like he, he just stays around the corner for um King's Park Hotel. Aye. Um so he used to do the the do these shows. Um but I we good. I know I know how Craig works. I know when I'm supposed to shut up and when he's going to be talking and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and squeeze as many views in. Um, but Aye. how's everything else? How's how's life outside of school and outside the good? Uh, just I'm my life really. Just I'm there, I'm just enjoying myself. Oh, like when I was training and that, I'm like I'm I'm enjoying training now. Instead, I always be so like, always so strict in that. I'm, I, I can enjoy training a bit more. I think that, that I, I can get good. a bit intense. I was speaking there to Abe, um, but he's he's just got a sponsor that came aboard. You were looking for sponsors as well, did you? Did I see uh, yeah, I got Divine Scaffolding. Um, so uh, they sponsor duties. Oh, that's bright, man. So <laughs> how did how did that come about? How did you? you I don't remember. You posted um, something online, but did you, you like go meet them uh, and stuff? Uh, actually, just. Posted it and then he got in contact with Archie and then he passed him through to my mum and that. And then, so, yeah. That's good, man. It's good. I was saying, Abe, it's, it's good that uh, sponsors get behind young boxers because obviously there's a, there's a lot you need to sacrifice anyway. Um, but your families as well, there's a cost to as you go travelling and stuff. Um, I think, is, is the travel costs even covered to see when you go away with Boxing Scotland? Do they like cover some of the costs or do uh, you just have to. Boxing Scotland cover really. Just all, everything, all your meals, traveling, and there. You don't really, you don't need to pay for anything, really, yeah. for them, but which is good. But still, um, in the lead up to that, but there's like you have to eat proper. You're still growing like crazy, so you must be eating. Aye. Like, what is what is your normal I mean, diet about? What do, you, what do you eat normally in a day? Cereal, <laughs> sweets, uh, <laughs> sweets, crisps, chips, all sorts. Um, I didn't get my hands on. I'm staying with my mother now, so she just like she went, she went um, to the shops earlier, right? She came back for Greg's, and she's like passing me oh, there's a, even though it was like a wrap, right? That was it said on a chicken shawarma wrap. I just put it in the fridge. I was like, I'm not even don't even want to eat it. But she was giving me that <laughs> two sausage rolls, um, two donuts, 
Um, oh. I can of Red Bull. She's gave me like three of these milky bars. I'm not even. I'm not even at them. Oh man. She just like my mom's like. She still thinks it's five years thing. There's only me, her, and my dad in her. I am, oh man. This the fridge is like constantly full with stuff, which is good for me, but. See, sometimes I'll go in the fridge, he's like, is that you eating again? I was like, somebody needs to eat it. <laughs> like, that's what my mom's like, I know, man. I've always got in the fridge every single day now, and she's hot, man. You can still be eating much away. I'm like, mom, I'm sitting two kilo under weight. I think I should eat a bit to put a bit of weight on. How and they're always you? moaning that I'm not eating enough. How is your, your weight now? Have you got, like... Uh, bang on, man. Brilliant. That's so good, eat. man. It's good. Um, while I've got you, right, there's a... Um, I won't say who it is it's no fair enough, but there's a wee guy that comes from a youth group in it and he's been asking um, like I think he wants to grow in weight he's quite quite Aye. small and skinny right but he's like he sent me a picture he's like there's, there's pills right and he's like or oh, can I can I take these pills and I was like I don't really think you should be taking like stuff at, at your age or whatever but I'm like I don't know what to advise him I'm like I was like skinny as hell till I was 21 used to eat as much and then after that sort of caught up with me but I was like I don't know what to, he obviously wants to try and grow and put on weight, um, but Aye. when your metabolism's still burning down, like, so what advice would you give? Because you obviously... you've got to, if you're going to put weight on, you've got to be, you've got to eat out, I'd say high calorie, high calorific stuff, yeah. you've got to eat out of proteins, carbs, make sure you're drinking enough fluids, definitely, fluids is important, and just make sure you're eating all that protein, that's why I put, but I was really skinny at one point, I was at 50 kilo at one point, but then I also started growing an all, but I was eating all of that protein at that time and all, yeah. and I put weight on, which was yeah. good. I think as well, I noticed, with, with, not just with boxing, there's a few boys I know that were uh, basketballers, and I mean, their families, their parents aren't that, that tall, but they too are like massive, and it's because when they were about 13, 14, uh-huh. I, think, I think this is what I was thinking, when they were 13, 14, they were just constantly active and then they were eating because obviously like you're using that energy you need to re- re- refuel and stuff and i think that's just helped them they're, they're huge man um and you see a lot of uh, yeah. like yourself there's there's we um finn as well for for renfrewshire like every time i see him i'm like i was joking being like oh you're taller than me but no he is and i think you as well i think the last picture we got um maybe my spikes uh, yeah. just that you are the top of your head but <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's he's grow that that fast man and i think a lot of it is today with um what you're learning to to look after your body and keep active and stuff um so it's right. important man it's in, it's important that um young people even are talking about this and willing to talk about it because there's a, a dark path for some young people that they, they look at their weight and they, they start worrying about what they're eating and stuff and then um so it's, uh, it's, that was the way I was on all because I was like at one point when I was a, when I was younger and pregnant school that I was like I was like big. I was like, definitely like, really big. But I was taller than everybody else. But uh, when I started boxing and that and I learned about like I was always I have always been into like diet and just cat like all that stuff. I've always been interested in it. When I started learning about it, all of a sudden when I started boxing and that, then it helped me a lot and I lost so much weight yeah and it's good I suppose you've got your, your coaches as well around you that can sort of um, keep an eye on you and stuff I just sometimes I, I worry about some young people that don't have that I sound like to everybody just uh, if you're young get into boxing <laughs> just because it matures a lot of young people mature they, they start to learn things about looking after themselves and I suppose uh, if you're in a boxing ring and you're, you're boxing somebody there's no really for me as a young person, like you know, I'm not young, but when I if, if I was young, um, I think to me it would sort of you'd lose any fears once you like to go in a ring with something that like it's a lot of pressure and there's, there must be some sort of like feeling you get in your your stomach. But when you get used to that, then you're not scared to, to other things in your, in your life because you be you've been in a ring and sort of. Um, and I was saying to Abe as well the first time um, it was the first duty show back. I mean, you were boxing. And that was you lost that one, and you were a bit upset. And I seen you, I was like, I'm gonna get. I think you were only twelve or something at the time, no? Nah, I just turned twelve. Right, and then I, I went down and said, "Oh, do you want to come up for an interview?" And you, you wiped your tears and that. And then soon I started talking to you, I was like, talking to a twenty-five year old man. You're like, I know I say this all the time. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna get, get my head down back in the gym. I was like, who is this wee guy? <laughs> I know, and then after that, you just, I think you needed that just to sort of get, get in your head like 
you then knew what you were capable of doing and went and just I think you won like back to back Western District so those titles and that. Um so sometimes it's not always it's boxing still about learning. Um I just seen there wait I just seen another post actual um Oh, so Jeremy McTaggart, he's not going to be boxing at that, that show tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I know, I saw something about the tickets and that, and I was just shocked. Uh, <laughs> um, I've seen, seen him last week, but um, I'll probably have a wee catch up with him soon. I like Joe, I, like, I think he's like, so he's he's had over 100 amateur bouts, um, and he's just another one, Just he just loves to love to box. Um, so nah, he like does. Chat, chat with him. Um, so... Uh, Lucas, a week and a half time, I'll see you um, at the the Dury show. Um, anybody you like to any shout outs you want to, you want to give before you go? Uh, just want to shout out, obviously, Archie Dury, the big man. Um, he's done. I want to shout out, obviously, my sponsor, Divine Scaffolding. I uh, want to shout out my mum. And people I want to thank, and I want to thank you and all, Jamie, for everything you've done for me. Like, <laughs> I appreciate it. Especially when we talking about the first interview yeah. after that. Like, change up your like, full, like, full vision of boxing. Bro, I think, so um, it doesn't matter. See, that. one day you're going to be on the world stage, right? And I'm going to be. I'll split the profits with you, but I'm going to sell that interview to like Sky Sports or something like that. I was going to be like, here, you can have the first interview. We'll split the profits 50 50, right? I'll be like, he's a pain for it. Um, which would be mad for me. Like I think there's it's that's one thing that I think would, would always be good is that you see boxers at the very start of their journey. Um Aye. it's it's good for me to sort of follow as much of that, that journey as we can, all the ups and downs and the, the everything in between, man, because it's um it's it's not always an easy journey that you're on. Um but as I said, you 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 come through things, um you you're um I know sometimes you like your space um, to sort of think and reflect, but at the same time, um, you've got a lot of people that that support you and, and look up to you and, and want to see you do well, man. So it's for me, it's just it's just brilliant to be able to, to see that, and I'm I'm looking forward. I'm glad that the first show, um, first amateur show we're doing is is Dury's again because it's it's be good just to so I'm comfortable with everybody for Dury's. I sort of know everybody in um, Kings Park. I know how the setup is, so and I'm just looking to see you all go in and just put on a, a brilliant show, man. And a brilliant show, man. So, um, Sunday the 10th of September, um, it's an afternoon show? Ah, uh, it's an afternoon show. I, I need to keep reminding myself of that, because I don't think I've ever done an afternoon show for Dury, so my head is always like, late night, but that's good. Late night, man. Aye. So, Aye. Um, listen, say hi to your, your family that for me, tell them I say hello. And this should be it soon, because it's already like pretty much edited, so I'm just going to... I'll just butter through it and just get them get them posted up. Aye. Um, and if you're going to training, tell anybody else who wants to jump in an interview, just tell them to, to shout me. I'll leave this set up so I can just jump on and Aye, chat cool. to people. All right, my man? Well done. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Cheers, I'll do it. Bye, pal. So that was young Lucas Ewan. Next up, um, he's no long back for the European Championships. We last spoke to him at the William Wallace Box Cup and he became William Wallace Box Cup champion back in July. Um, this will be officially, I think, my second interview uh, with him. Uh, he's always a pleasure to watch and a pleasure to talk to. So uh, finally tonight, uh, guys, this is Aaron Sauer. Uh, so Aaron Sauer, how you doing, my man? Yeah, good, how are you? I'm all right, man. I, I messed up my knee in it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm on crutches. You better now. Is it getting better? Ah, like, it should be all right, man. It's just they want me to go for physio or something, but it's yeah. not really that. It's not that big a deal, isn't it? Um, mm-hmm. Just a bit sore. Um, you just back for training? Uh, yeah, I was at, up at Boxing Scotland. Oh, how was it? So yeah, good session up there uh, till about half six, and then just got home not long ago. Is that what your normal days like? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so last time I seen you uh, was at William Wallace Box Cup, where uh, we became yeah. William Wallace Box Cup champion. Um, I know you would have wanted a few more bouts, but um, yeah, sometimes it's people just don't like boxing, isn't it? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, you went. Um, tell us what happened after that during the summer. Where were you? Uh, went to Europeans uh, in Romania. Uh, I don't know, right? Uh, I wanted a medal. 
but unfortunately, I came short against Greece in the quarterfinals. I think quarterfinals were round of sixteen. Was that the uh, you were last year as well? No, it was round of sixteen. Yeah, round of sixteen. Um, yeah. So but I boxed Romania in my first fight, round of thirty-two, and then I got a point taken off uh, when I was fighting the Greek, uh, the Greek boy. Yeah. Uh, so unfortunate to get that point taken off. Lost on a three-one. But the the whole experience would be a decent experience, not even. Yeah, it was unreal. Like... Second uh, European Championships. Oh, and no, your no, your last <laughs> either. Sorry. It won't be your last either. You'll be. Planning going back next year. Yeah, right? hopefully not. So, um, what's what's the team like? Because you were with a few. Remind us, you were away with it was Thomas was there. Uh, yeah, Thomas or really, uh, Jacob, Taylor, Liam, Luca and Liam. Uh, yeah, so a good, a good wee team, man. Uh, we yeah, it was there, a good team. Uh, we gave you a shout out at what what awards in it. Um, uh-huh. Just because he's like, I tried to make it the awards so everybody could sort of attend and that, but. Um, we're gonna we clashed with that that Europeans man, but um, what was it like being away with them? Because I, I know you're starting to know each other quite well. You went for a stage where yeah, you were maybe competing against each other in Scotland, but now as a team you're sort of representing Scotland. You're you're uh-huh. able to gel together. Yeah, I've never boxed any of them, but I think a couple of them boxed each other. Uh-huh. Um, sparred, I sparred uh, Jacob and Thomas quite a lot, so it was good because we went to Hungary together, and um, like we kind of bonded as a team, and then. Down Sheffield for the training camp, sparring camp, and then flew to Romania. So we're a good team. Um, and what's um, it like for the, the coaching team as well? You starting to, to gel with them a bit? Yeah, the coaching was great. Uh, Robbie and uh, Ian McDonald, two great, two good coaches. So you get to spend, you get you train with them here, and then obviously they they travel with you as well. Um, yeah. What's the difference with working with them and say working with your um, your your coaches at, at Northwest? Probably the performance level, uh, like always performing and stuff. Like, I always perform for your club as well, but I think it's just a bit different when you're boxing for Scotland. Does your co- I don't know how to word this. Does your coaches, mom, my mom's in here spraying shit in the room. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> See, man, she's always in like spraying stuff in my bed, and I'm like fucking choking. Um, so. What was I gonna say? Oh, that's 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 what's gonna happen if I'm doing this in my room. But I'm sort of stuck with my legs, so I'm gonna have to put it up well. Um, so I was gonna say, so how does your coaches at Northwest feel with the, the boxing uh, Scotland coaches? Is there any like, animosity between them, or do they think, oh, they're doing the right hang or the wrong hang, or um, do they offer your opinion? Or, and how do you balance that out? Nah, there's not much communication. Between the uh, coaches, like my club coach and Scotland coaches, but like, obviously it's through me. Like I tell my club coach, and then vice versa. So yeah, they're happy with it. Yeah. Um, quite happy with it. So that's yeah, the stuff I'm doing, like we take it in the gym and work on it there as well in the club gym. Yeah, that's good, man. Because um, I've seen some situations where you're like, you've got coaches for boxing Scotland in your corner, and then the coaches for the club are like shouted for the, like the audience and that. Yeah. And yeah. Like the boxers mm-hmm. going to be confused, man. But I suppose. Yeah. Um, you're at a stage now where you're an experienced boxer, so you're you're able to take like maybe the good for for everybody and sort of learn new things. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. What's the plan for for this year? Um, just hope I get a few more fights in, and if anything comes up with Scotland, uh, give that a good shot. Uh, hopefully, yeah, try and get away as much as possible and get boxing. Do you enjoy travelling away, like or do? You, do you yeah, enjoy, it's, like, it's really good. Like, yeah, all the experiences have been brilliant. That's good, man, because you're at a stage where I remember a few years ago um, I spoke to Sam Hickey and it was just before, it was probably 2019, so it was just before he started going away constantly, but I think a lot of time he was travelling on his own and he sort of felt like mm-hmm. he was away from his mates and that, not really, he's seen them going out, partying, going to like celebrating birthdays or whatever, and, and he sort of felt like um, it was lonely and he was in a hotel room now, him and Reese are sort of gelled together, which is why it's good that there's there's no mere investment in, in boxing Scotland where you're seeing like groups he used gone, and you can sort yeah. of become mates. And I, I see you all the time. I mean, even at the World Wars Box Cup, when you were boxing, you had um, Thomas and, and Jacob, and that were, were there supporting you and vice versa. Yeah, so, definitely. Um, it's good to see that that coming out and you sort of getting to know each other. Um, do you feel like you're sacrificing stuff? Do you feel like? Nah, 
because since I started boxing, like it's always just been boxing for me. Like yeah. I've never, I never really went out and like my pals and that. I just stuck to boxing, like kept my head in the right place and just got on with it. And how do your pals feel like that? Feel about that? Do they? Like, I, or do they like, I just tell them it. Like <laughs> boxing comes first. Um, yeah, you have a you have a good family as well. That, that sort of you got wee brothers and your your mum and dads are always uh, there supporting you as well. Um, how do you, how do they feel about you? You travelling? Do they miss you, or do they, do they get a wee break for you, or what? How's it work? Nah, they definitely miss you. They try and come to as many as possible. Like my mum was, mum and wee brother were out in Romania with me, yeah. so it was good to have a support. Um, yeah, that's good, man. And how's the? He's opened a, a business. I spoke to you about. Is it Funkies? Yeah, yeah, Funkies. Yeah, Astoni, yeah, it's going well. I still need to go down, man. But tell us about it. What's yeah, it's good. Fun. What's it like? What's it? It's you... Yeah, it's really good. The food's really nice, fresh. It's nice food. Do you go in and cover some shifts? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> i got to take guys on off. No, I cannot, but... I, I know what it's like. I used to have a restaurant in Dundee, and I, I remember just... It's just long days, and um, there's always yeah, yeah. a lot on going your feet. on. Um, but you don't... You try not to worry about, about that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, how, you, how are you getting on for, like... Have you got um, sponsors supporting you? Or are you looking for sponsors? Or? Yeah, I've got a couple of sponsors, but uh, it'll be good to get a couple more if anyone's interested in sponsoring me. Yeah, that's good, man. It'll be a shout and try. I think maybe this young guy try and look at um, matching people up with sponsors because is yeah. I was speaking to um, a Brenton earlier, and we look at you and like they've just got a sponsor each that's came on board to support them. But um, when you are sort of travelling away, and I know some of your costs are covered, but the costs that eating stuff and eating right and like getting up yeah. your, your time and that where young people can yeah and, and even the travel to like boxing school and stuff like yeah, getting the training right. up and that yeah. um how you are you is that what you get through you jump around in the train it's just uh, is there yeah my mum and dad try and take me as much as possible uh so and if, if they can't take me they just jump on the train that's good man um and how old are you now yeah 15 15 so in a few years you start driving yeah yeah what did they be smart right? get get like a minibus, right? <laughs> Let to drive a minibus and then like say everybody all oh, pick you all up for a fee, and then if box want you to drive anywhere, you just be like oh jump in my yeah. minibus and just make it. I know. <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, I but that'll be good, man. Like I think <laughs> if he's maybe they get a wee box and squat and support bus as well, and people can travel down and, and see. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, um, I remember watching mates. They used to always box in Scotland, and then as they got better, they would travel. But you're at that stage yeah. where you're constantly um, traveling and getting that sort of best of both worlds. But um, yeah. do you see many your your future bouts happening like internationally, or do you, do you hope to still get some in Scotland, or do you think you're just past that stage now? Nah, I think it's gonna be quite tough to get boots in Scotland. Like you get the odd maybe on the home show, like like the William Wallace Box Cup. But I think most of them would be international or boxing, like top level boxers from England and Ireland and Wales. Yeah. Um. And what is your your long term plans? You might forward that that pathway to to maybe compete in some of the tournaments, say either Commonwealth Games or the Olympics, if that sorts of sell Like, is is that the the route you want to go down? Is that what you? Say? Yeah. I definitely want to try and get a European medal first. That's my biggest goal. So hopefully, if I get selected to go next year, that'll be my main focus to get a European medal. Hopefully, you can win it. Um, no, I know what you're like outside the ring. You're quite laid back, chilled. You always get this sort of buzzing energy, which, to be honest, you have that in the ring as well. Um, and there's a there's a few people that, even some officials that have travelled with, they'll come back and they'll be like, oh, that we are in Salva, keep an eye on him, like stuff like this. Do you ever feel pressure at, at all? Or do you just take it all just on your on your shoulders and just go home nah not really uh, I just feel like boxing's like a big part of my life but uh, pressure just I don't know makes you perform a bit worse uh, I'd just rather be relaxed and just do what I do that's good man is it and what boxers even like professional boxers whatever what boxers do you sort of look up to in the UK do and think oh that's where I want to be in say I don't know 10, 15 years yeah ago. like uh, my inspirations are like Adam Azim uh, I like Conor Ben as well I see, I, like I, I agree bit. with that, I like the two of them as well. Um, yeah. They just have a good work ethic in it, and it's just like... Um, yeah, like definitely. Adam, Adam's boxing, is it this week? He's boxing this weekend. Yeah, yeah, Saturday, yeah. Um, and it's, it's like, it is a lot... I know it's different, like, in the pro game and that, but obviously there's... As you're, you're sort of building your support and stuff like that, you're moving 
in that direction where you're going to be taking people away. As I say, every time people see your box, um, you sort of stick out in their mind and they remember you and then they'll look out for you next time. So I think once you get to, to that level yourself, um, like there's nothing that can't see you won't be even like bigger and have a lot of support, not just in Scotland, but um, across the UK and even boxers that remember you for Europe as well. Um, yeah. Do you feel that? Because you're on social media quite a bit and I see you sometimes posting. Uh, yeah. Um, you go on like lives and, and Instagram and that. Do you, do you feel like that's <laughs> part of the game to sort of promote yourself? Yeah, definitely. I think see, if you want to make it far in boxing, uh, you definitely need to, to have a backing and like know, you need to like, have contacts with people and know some people. Yeah. Uh, definitely. That's good, man. Um, there is the some box, in fact, the Mora, the St Andrews um, show at uh, Brayhead Arena, um, Ricky Burns and Willie Lemon and that. Yep. Have you seen any of the stuff for the way on the day? Yeah, i seen that, yeah. Did you see Jack yeah. Turner and Andy Tam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They started like getting a bit intense, man. Yeah, I guess yeah. I guess brought for like whether it was I don't know. Um, I think I think Jack was sort of taking the piss at first, and then Andy sort of ticked off, and then it got a bit too much. One point, Craig Stephen was in between the two of them. Um, mm. But it'd be, it'd be good for, for I think Scottish boxing. It's got to be on BBC. Yeah, definitely. As well, you got to watch it. Yeah, I'm, go- I'm not going to watch it, but I'll watch it in the house. Aye, cause it'll be in BBC iPlayer, which is good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think I know it's still quite early discussions, but I think um, Boxing Scotland, like Ben was was saying that they were getting in touch um, with BBC about maybe televising some of the the competitions and that coming up for. Mm. Um, so I'll be decent if like I don't know if like the novices will be ready, but maybe like the elite championships or something like get them back on on BBC. They'll put me out a job. Mm. I, think, <laughs> I think I'll still be there. I think I'll still be there on some. You some. can just join BBC. Ah, yeah, just, Aye, just. Um, Right, so um, back are you back at school? Uh, no, nah, I'm going. To, I've started college. Oh, have you? So what are you doing? What are you doing in college? Uh, engineering. You enjoying it? We started. Yeah, it's good. Is it? Weird? Yeah, I started uh, yesterday. Oof, that's good, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to keep. Well, I've got a youth group in it that some of them get kicked out of school. Some of them had to start college. Um, mm-hmm. Some of them I don't know what the hell they're doing, man. But like this is all I hear about is just I know I, like what they're doing and try and chase them up in that, but. Um, that's good, man. You going to college? What's your timetable like? Is it? Is it? Is it flexible? Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I see. That's alright, man. Yeah, it works for me. Yeah, it works for me. Um, and is that? Um, so you did. You probably did this year and the next year at college. Is that the? What's the plan? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. That's good, man. Because it means that it's good to have something to fall back on it as well. Um, yeah, definitely. Is your family happy with that? Yeah, my family happy with that. Yeah. That's good, man. Um, any shout outs you want to give? Uh, Who's your two sponsors? To my boxing club, North West Boxing. Uh, my little girls. Yeah, no, my sponsors, thanks. Uh, really appreciate your continued support. What's the names of the sponsors? Uh, QTS, KSA Rail, uh, Bodies Limited, uh, The Gulab, uh, uh, McLaughlin's Massage. <laughs> Is that yeah. many, man? That's good. Yeah. Um, so when am I seeing you next? What's the, the, the next? Do you know when you're going to be boxing next or what? Nah, I think my uh, club coach is trying to get me a couple of fights, but uh, he's struggling. I wanted to go to that box cup in Wales, yeah. but we missed the entries for that. They should have like a certain amount of boxers that if you box at a certain level, you get automatic entry. They should just be yeah. like, guys, just come <laughs> Um, no. so it just makes it more interesting, man. Like I think the Wild Wild Sports Cup is decent that they use yeah, yeah. for there or not. It just makes it more interesting and also other boxers get an opportunity to sort of face and if they want to mm-hmm. make a name for themselves then they have to get in the ring and put their yep. sort of gloves with their what was it, their money where their mouth is. Um yeah. right, so uh, cheers for talking to me. I'm gonna try and edit yeah. this and get this yeah. so to be free. So it'll be you, Lucas, you and I spoke to and A Brent and they've got a show coming up in the in Sunday the the tenth. Um, so I'll be there um, and I'm going to try and get this, this out. I'll get it out the night um, and then I'll catch up with you um, soon. Let me yeah. know when your next box or not because as I said, yeah. I, I love coming and watching you box. Um, I think anybody that sees your box already knows you've got a, a good future but stick at the college as mm. well. You always need something to, to fall back on. Yeah, will do. All right, well my do. man. Listen, thanks for talking yeah, to me. Um, no problem, thank you. Best up, my man. Cheers. Right, take care. Take care, Have bro. a good night.